Hello and many thanks for joining me, Albus, for yet another Somerset Relay Review. Still continuing with the Sainsbury's Great British Beer Hunt 2013 uh, beers, uh, or range. Um, this is another beer from the Maxim Brewery, the Swedish Blonde. Fruity Pale Ale, it says. 4.2% ABV. Now, I was a little bit disappointed with their last beer. It was the American uh, Pale Ale, uh, or American Style Pale Ale, or American something or another. And I was sort of led to believe by the name that it would be an American style IPA and it quite clearly wasn't. It was an English style IPA. It wasn't a bad beer, but it wasn't amazing. Um, so we'll give this one a try. Swedish Blonde Fruity Pale Ale. I've said that already. I've had a few beers tonight. So 500ml uh, brown bottle, 4.2% ABV. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's crack it open. Tiny bit of smoke on the opening. Pour it into a glass. I had a really good beer related weekend this weekend. Um, went out on a beer tour on Friday night and Saturday was the RCH um, open day. Free beer in the brewery, which is fantastic. I won't pour all the beer in here. So yeah, I've had a good sort of beer related weekend, so I thought I'd round it off on Sunday night here with a few more. Um, well, it's straw colored, um, reasonably clear, well, pretty blatantly clear, little bit of bubbles in there, carbonation, uh, one finger just off white head, let's get some aromas, zesty, mildly zesty, lemon zest and that is about it, honestly there's not a lot else in there, um, I'm going to dig in and see if there's anything else when I taste it, cheers. No, um, zesty lemon, maybe slightly grapefruity. Loads of carbonation. Once again, I mean, who put this in the range? I just don't understand this range at all. It's all right. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an all right beer. But it's, it's hardly exciting. It's just very zesty. It's, I mean, it's, I suppose it's a good example of a blonde. But they're much more exciting beers. Uh, Swedish Blonde Pale Ale has been specially selected as one of the new craft beers that Maxim Brewery produces and which has become a regular draft beer that can now be enjoyed from the bottle. Fair play I suppose, if you went to your local pub and got this, um, you know, on cask, you wouldn't be disappointed, it's a nice beer. Um, oh, it says it's lightly hot with a hint of grapefruit flavours. Oh, it's, it's like, once again, it's not a bad beer. I don't want to slag off this brewery or you know any other brewery in the range because they're not none of them have been bad beers but they're just not exciting just just not really exciting beers um, I, I would drink this on cask I wouldn't be disappointed if I had to session it all night in a pub that I went to but it's just a zesty it's a well-balanced, zesty, blonde beer. Um, I think, to be honest, if I was reviewing this under different circumstances, like I just walked into a pub, um, into a shop, and bought this bottle, um, I, I wouldn't be. Like I say, I don't want to slag it off. I'm not slagging the beer off. I wouldn't be going on a sort of rant again about about the beer. But it's the fact that it's like the Great British Beer Hunt. I don't kind of understand what, what it's all about. Is it supposed to be to get new t styles of beers into the supermarket? Or is it just something to have publicity and, and make them more money? I, I don't know. Um, you know, just so the brewers can get their beers into the supermarket. If it is, then fair dues, you know. I mean, that, that would be... I'd be quite happy to buy that um, and, and, and drink it or, you know. But it, it's... 
they sort of they've got the opportunity to put sort of exciting new beers into the supermarket so people can experience these fantastic new craft beers that are about by these great breweries in the country and yet they put something like this in there which is they've already the sort they've already got these sort of beers in the supermarket i don't i don't get it let's say i don't want to slag off maxim brewery because I, I, I mean they're, they're a nice brewery they, well they, their beers are nice but they're not exciting That's getting a 5 out of 10 from me. Good beer, but won't blow you away. Um, £1.50 a bottle, I'm not disappointed. Just don't understand Sainsbury's. Rant over, um, again. Thanks for watching me. Love to see your comments down there in the comments box, and hopefully you join me again soon for another review. Cheers, everyone.